always get clearance from your physician before you start an activity regimen. Welcome to being active. Aim for 20, a circuit of various activities repeated for 20 continual minutes. Our aim for 20 activities require very basic equipment for you to be successful. First, you need shoes that fit well and offer good support. Your shoes should have good treads and support your feet, legs, hips, and total body alignment. It's also beneficial if they are easy to fasten. Staying hydrated and drinking lots of water while you're being active is also extremely important. Be sure you have a good insulated water bottle with you to keep the water cool and have an adequate supply on hand at all times. Some people enjoy adding hand weights to their daily activity routines. It's absolutely up to you and completely optional to add weights or weighted objects to your Aim for 20 circuit. Our Aim for 20 routine is designed to accomplish several goals. First, you want to accomplish 20 repetitions of each activity in the 20 minute time period allotted for the entire circuit. That means after you warm up, you want to continually move for a minimum of 20 minutes and complete 20 repetitions of each activity. In doing so, you maintain an increased heart rate and your breathing rate is challenging without getting you out of breath. Always warm up the body to decrease the likelihood of injury. Let's warm up the chest and upper back with arms crossing in the front, then back. Continue that a few times to loosen up. Let's release tension in your neck. Tilt your head gently one direction and the other direction. Now, warm up the torso and gently twist from one direction to the other. Now lift your knees nice and slow. We're only warming up here, so be gentle. Alternate one knee then the other. Next, rotate the ankles and make small circles with the feet. Now change and repeat the other ankle. March in place to gradually increase circulation. Maintain good posture. Step side to side, again, standing nice and tall. Breathing rate will slowly increase here. Keep stepping side to side. Now we can begin continually moving, aiming for at least 20 minutes. Let's alternate simple knee lifts. Tighten through your core to support your torso. Step side to side. Lengthen your steps and use controlled movements. Try combining side to side, then step knee, step knee. Reach the arm across and continue to alternate. Reach, reach, reach. Now add a jab across. Jab, 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 jab. Good controlled movements while elevating the heart rate. Let's add larger muscle groups with some squats. Alternate side, other side, 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 side. Try to keep the knee placement behind the toes to protect the knee and squat deeper to add intensity. Get creative and add resistance with what you have, like unopened vegetable cans. Get in a good stance and curl up and extend your arms all the way down. Continue up and down, up and down. Tighten through your core and keep your knees bent to protect your back. 
To add outer thigh work, add a side leg lift to a squat. This uses your balance and large muscle groups to add intensity. Just a little added weight increases your workload. To strengthen shoulders, alternate pushing an arm up. For resistance, use weights. Use a good squatted stance to protect your lower back and activate your thighs. And push, push, push. Put your weights in a safe area, away from the floor. March high, with knees tapping the hands about waist level. Before cooling down, make sure you continually move for at least 20 minutes. You can add more if you need or want to. At the end of every workout, you need to take time to cool down to gradually slow down your heart rate. Follow the cool down with stretching. Post-activity stretching helps lengthen muscles while they're nice and warm. Take a few nice deep breaths in and out to bring breathing rate down and reach up and around. Push arms out front and tilt the head forward to stretch the neck and muscles in the upper back behind your shoulders and hold. Tilt the head to one side and hold and gently to the other side and hold. Now extend your arms back and clasp your hands behind you if you can. Stretch the front of the shoulders and the chest and hold. Now hands on the side and sit into it. Curl through your abdominals and round the back like a cat. Chin toward your chest and hold. Now, gently relax. Extend one leg forward to stretch the back of the upper leg or hamstring area. Hold that. Now, change legs. And that was great work today. Take a deep breath, give yourself a pat on the back, and appreciate what you just did. Now you know how to make being active part of happy, healthy living.